Casper Rasmussen from Airhelp. Casper, take the stage. Hi, everyone. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation. Great advances have been made in computer science in recent years that are going to change the course of mankind forever. But my distinguished focus, right, audience, you already know all this. This isn't news to you. I think we all can agree that the biggest threat in the years to come is military-grade weaponized machines coming to kill all of us. Get them. No. I think in the short run, we all can agree that the biggest threat is job loss to the tune of 800 million, according to McKinsey Consulting. So looking into this, there is actually a very, very good quote in Terminator 2 that you probably remember that really relates to what threat we're actually facing. No fate. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. If we choose a path that's purely focused on removing human jobs, chances are that's where it will take us. We have to think bigger. My name is Casper, and I'm from Airhelp. Today, I'll be telling you about how Airhelp has embraced the new technology and found that it isn't removing jobs from our staff. It's actually helping to create even more jobs. Let's bring everybody on the same page and discuss who Airhelp are. Airhelp was first founded back in 2013 and is already today, five years later, the world's leading provider of air passenger ride services. In a nutshell, that basically means we help you claim compensation from airlines if your flights are delayed, canceled, or overbooked. You see, the challenge with claiming the compensation yourself is that airlines are often reluctant to pay out compensation, so you get rejected. Therefore, many people are going to companies like Airhelp for assistance. Fortunately, we're not the only company in the space fighting for the rights of air passengers. There are others out there that are similar to us. However, what sets Airhelp aside is a great focus on being tech-savvy, we're represented globally, and we're enormous compared to the competitors. In our brief five-year history, Airhelp has already helped more than 7 million passengers on flights that didn't go according to plan. How does it work? It's pretty straightforward. You sign up on our webpage, we process your claim towards the airline, and we charge a contingency fee only if the claim is successful towards the airline. Pretty simple stuff. Behind the scenes, it's everything but simple. There is a long list of checks that claims need to go through before we're ready to process them towards the airline. You can see the list behind me right now. The complete assessment of claims takes roughly 20 minutes, and it includes also assessment by legal agents. The complex procedure for assessing eligibility means that if we get 10 times more claims, we'll need 10 times more agents to process them. Economies of scale simply won't work in this space. And as you can imagine, our team just grew and grew with the early success of Airhelp combined with the complexity of this process. So by the end of 2017, we had already reached a team of 500 people. While it was great that we were growing fast, we were also slowly starting to see a gap appear between the claims that we were receiving and the claims that we were able to keep up with. So that meant that our talented and hard-working claim agent team had to work nights and weekends just to keep up with the claims we were receiving. At the same time, humans have limits. We've had literally tens of thousands of claims in court so far, and it's physically impossible for anybody to cope with that much information at once. We could also slowly start to see that our company was growing so fast that we were transcending from thousands to millions of customers every single year. We wanted to help everybody, and therefore, we needed to find a way to scale. Hire 10,000 people? Probably not the best strategy if you think about what I just said. Enter machine learning. Machine learning is essentially the, cap the capacity of a computer to learn from experience, to modify its processing on the basis of newly acquired information. So, in other words, machine learning from claim agents. So at Airhelp, we have developed not one, but three machine learning machines. We've called them Aga, Lara, and Herman. Aga is an agent assistant that basically determines if the claim quality is OK, have we got everything we need. Lara is a legal agent that confirms if the claim truly is eligible. We don't want to waste the airline's time by sending them claims that are not eligible. And Herman is a legal agent that determines where to claim. You see, jurisdiction plays a key role in claim compensation. When we first launched Herman, it was the first of its time, so therefore, it made a big splash in the industry news when we launched Herman. Herman was and still is the first AI-powered robot lawyer focused on flight disruption. So yes, we've launched three AI robots in one year, so Airhelp is now behind number one, two, and three AI bots. 
If we do a side-by-side -side comparison of a human agent assessing the eligibility of a claim and Aga, Lara and Herman working together, you can see there's no contest. What takes the humans 20 minutes takes Aga, Lara and Herman 23 milliseconds per claim. So yeah, there's absolutely no doubt that these machines have helped us and also helped our customers. What about the humans, you're probably thinking, right? The humans, of course, are still needed because machines cannot learn without the inputs of humans. So the humans were very happy when we launched these machines because they were so busy. So therefore, they have a lot fewer repetitive tasks because once a task becomes repetitive, machine learning means that these robots can take over the task. They're able to provide the best customer service and we're even able to look and investigate new business areas. Ramping up for the future, in 2018, Aga, Lara and Herman have processed roughly 10% of the claims we received. Already by next year, it'll be 1.5 times as many, and in two years, 10 times as many. There's never been a better time to partner than now, so it doesn't matter whether you're a travel agent, an insurance company, or even an airline. AirHelp also plays a key role to help airlines. Thank you very much for your attention, and please come by our booth. Thank you very much, Casper. Step off the stage. Mike, let's see what the focus group thinks. Focus group, thumbs up, thumbs down. A lot of thumbs up, all thumbs up. Philip, you want to start us off? The airlines never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity, so I think air help will always be uh, busy. And I think the big challenge is still too many travelers don't realize that they're entitled to compensation when they get mistreated. I, I really like the way you're using uh, all the data uh, you know, possible to make these decisions. I mean, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the force majeure stuff, the weather, I mean, there's just a lot of clues about what's going on with these flights that uh, machine learning is a really good application for, so well done. Yeah, Casper, I think that was a great, uh, solid presentation. and the way that you have used technology to scale the business uh, is exceptional. I, I thought it was a great presentation too. I was a little bit worried at the start about what the machines were gonna do, but now I realize they're getting rid of lawyers, so it's fine. <laughs> but I, I, I love the- I wanna get Aga's phone number. <laughs> um, I, I love the product, I think it's good. Um, I'm curious to see if the airlines understand what you're doing and start paying you for the service so that they can cut down on all the humans on their side as well. That seems like uh, an interesting way that it could go. Everyone knows that there's very little margin in air tickets, so anytime you have a product that gives distributors of airline tickets a potential uh, new revenue share, it, it's a good thing. And the fact that clearly you, you already have the customers, and if you're, you've found a way to automate something that was manual, that's obviously a win. So are you finding that the airlines are approaching you for your product and potential partnership opportunities there? Yeah, it's slowly starting to happen. Should I take this? No. no. Okay. Yeah, it's slowly starting to happen. So it's very interesting when Philip says that you want Aga's phone number. That's also slowly what we're starting to see some of the airlines do. So it's extremely interesting times that we're living in. And I'm absolutely confident that by next year's Focus Ride, we will be partnering with at least one airline. Okay, great. Anything else? Yeah, isn't this business, though, more geared in Europe where the customer rights are so articulated and compared to other parts of the world? Yeah, absolutely. So it definitely does require that you do have air passenger rights, but we're also slowly starting to see, I was mentioning before that we're investigating new markets, we're also slowly starting to see a tendency towards it could spread and we're hoping that it will spread because we're definitely fighting for air passenger rights everywhere, not only in Europe. Great, thank you very much, Casper. Well done.